Although it gives us almost no vision right now. Misery gets silenced up, Magic Missile on the BCC, Ice Blast connects on the Puppy Hill Falls, Slight of Fist going, BCC's low, swap out, Yol should fall, Stomp, onto two, Jotam is gonna fall, looks like Yol as well, they're turning the tide, Secret looking for more, now Sudoi's getting chased down by Kuroki, Blink Dagger in a couple, gets cancelled of course by the Liquid Fire, doesn't matter, give him that double edge, give it to him to the face, Kuroki, Liquid Fire not gonna kill him, 17 HP on the other side, G getting caught out, Static Storm, No Tail coming up big again, is this a team wipe, yes, the Thunder's Strike comes in and secret hold their tier two tower. Kuroki. That is, of course. I mean, because it's because they aggro. Now, Yule Sip is going to go. That actually does avoid a lot of damage for G, and because he's so fast, he could just run away. But there's the glimpse, the kinetic field, oh, and G is going to gonna fall. No tail again. MVP glimpses. They get two. Yule's going to be the third. Puppy, he might fall, but it doesn't matter because they're going to try to get more off the back end. Slighted fist, S4, silenced up. They get the fourth. Will they get the fifth? Another team wipe. Kuroki, four staff. Stomp is up in one. He's going to get it off, and now S4 going to work as well with the double damage rune. They get all five of them. S4 with the double kill. They're gonna get the tier one tower secret are on the warpath bp are gonna get disruption with the exorcism sleight of fist big fight big static storm coming in stop from kuroki double edge onto two they will take two down but that's the age is going through swap out onto one puppy he'll be the target now crypt swarm glimpse back onto somebody i'm not sure magic missile puppy's gonna solo kill jotam big kill for him a support for two now, Thunderstrike, no glimpse available for seven seconds now. Remnant back in. S4 looking for Yol, misses the Searing Chains, but the stomp is there from Kuroki to follow up with his teammate Nacropire. Now the stomp comes in from the side of the Elder Titan. They lose Kuroki, but they've got four heroes. The only hero alive is G. He's got to phase away. He's got Remnant. He's got, obviously, a Searing Chains, but will not continue to chase. The after Extremely difficult high ground defense uh, to break with the Elder Titan, as well as the Ember Spirits. But I mean, if Ember doesn't get farmed at all. Oh, cool. Oh, really nice stop. Stuff. The stampede goes. Magic Missile, Yule Scepter keeping him up and alive. Kinetic Field, Ice Blast flying through, misses completely. Axe is now done for Yule, by the way. S4 getting chased down. Oh, it's Silence daytime. Stuff. Daytime comes through. Darkness, I believe, is done. Glimpse back onto G. They don't want to chase further. Maybe they do swap. No! Puppy! They miscommunicate in BZZ. Now the Kinetic Field. He's the target, but where is the rest of the damage coming through? Kuroki, now the right click. The Wave of Terror. Armor reduction is going. They're in charge. BKB for Kuroki. He really wants to fight this. They still have the Aegis. Exorcism down for 63 seconds. Yol is going to be the first to die. The first fatality. S4. He's dead as hell. Does have a buyback. I don't think he has a remnant. Still big kinetic kill from No-Tail. Sleight of Fist. There's the Aegis gone. They get BZZ as well. In fact, they get all five. The only hero alive is G. He has to pop the BKB. He's got to sprint away. Misery. Four staff forward. Kuroki. He's got stop in a couple of seconds. Big silence though. S4. Searing Chains. Will he get it? He perfectly times the BKB. Just came down stop comes in she's gonna die twice he does have buyback his exorcism is up in 29 seconds